the images he produces are so abstract, but evoke all these different ideas that the viewers get. He is able to show emotion by the colors that he chooses and the strokes that he uses. And I think that, um, that it does communicate. It says a lot in one little piece. I think they're very peaceful. I think they're cheerful, peaceful, um, they're diverse. He always makes something look great. Trent's one of those artists that if he continues working on the painting, eventually it's, it's going to be beautiful. This is one of my favorite of Trent's artwork. This is um, God's Universe, and it was one of the original pieces that I saw of his several years ago. And I love the colors, and I love that just by looking at something so abstract, I can put it together, and I feel like I can see and feel what maybe he um, was feeling or was imagining when he made this piece. The first initial attraction was probably the texture and the color. When I saw the pieces, I immediately fell in love. In my office, I have eight uh, pieces of Trent's artwork, and at home, I have five pieces of his artwork. Trent's large-scale works are, um, I think, where he's going to be going in the future, and I think that's where his talent is really going to show. Trent comes to Small Town Gallery and works in his studio um, about two times a week. And each day that he comes, he stays about two hours. He's a real process-oriented um, artist. He loves the tactile part of creating the art. It's just, he's driven by the medium and the interaction with the color and the process. And uh, I just enjoy watching someone get that intensely involved in their production process. It's just a beautiful moment of connecting the human creativity with the medium. The abstract expressionist in the 1950s and the 60s used a term called action painting. Instead of just using a hand and a wrist, like most artists will do, an action painter such as Trent will use his whole body, sometimes leaning all the way over, sometimes reaching all the way up and then all the way down. These actions can still be seen after the painting is done. It's easy to do a small abstract. But when you try to do what's called an all-over painting in the terms of abstract expressionism, an all-over painting where equal um, attention is given to every single part of the painting from canvas edge to canvas edge, which is difficult. It is very difficult to take maybe five or six colors and place them all consistently on such a large piece of canvas. When he makes repetitive strokes, like a circle, for example, there is no artist that I know that can match the precision of his strokes. They match from the top of the painting down to the bottom of the painting. There's nobody I know that can do that without a tool. And Trent's in there doing it with his hand. I do think that the art has, has given him a way to give back to the world. I think that having Trent play a role here at the U of L Autism Center by hanging his art was a natural fit. Autism is a um, neurodevelopmental disability. We know that it affects all races, all economic backgrounds. It does affect boys more than girls. Um, we know that the classic characteristics are a decrease of social interaction and communication, but it is a spectrum disorder, so every individual on the spectrum is different. So many families that begin the autism journey are looking for hope. They're looking to answer questions of, of where will my child be? Um, how will we handle reaching adulthood? Trent is able to live independently and he's able to support himself through his art. And I think seeing everything that Trent has accomplished does give them hope. I purchased the two pieces and there was a flyer with it and I honestly, I didn't read it. I, I, I didn't realize what it was. Um, and then, you know, several months went by and I actually read what it was. I just came across it again 
and I was just blown away by his story. I thought it was, you know, fantastic and phenomenal, and I, I really was encouraged by his work, and I, I just felt that it was just a neat, neat opportunity for, for me to have some great artwork and to support him as well. When I first, first saw his work, I, I, I had no idea of his background, but I just was impressed by the imagery that he creates. It is an inspiration to all of us to walk through our halls and to see Trent's artwork. I walk by certain ones and I know that's one of my favorites. I have about four that are my favorite here, so. Trent is driven to paint and he gets a lot out of it. Um, I think he gets a lot out of being able to come to the studio and be in a place that is his. Going to art shows, meeting people, talking to other artists, it's really been a great experience for him. We bring what we interpret to his paintings. There's so many layers of work in his paintings. He's just purely immersed in the pain. I wish success for him. I want him to continue to sell so that he can continue to create and um, be who he is, be the great artist that he is. I'm so proud of him. Um, his mother has kept me in the loop of what he's accomplished, which I, I find just amazing. I can tell you from my patients when they're walking through it and they want to stop and see all of his artwork and we all have busy lives and busy schedules, I can only envision that he's gonna continue to sell, sell, sell and, and really become um, not just Kentucky known or Louisville known, but you know nationwide known, so I'm excited for him.